Friends, you know how I'm always finishing every video with uh, with like a subscribe or threat? It's something weird and wacky sometimes. Other times it's something that like definitely, definitely Eric could do that. And I wonder if he is going to do it. Well, we're going to follow through on one of those threats today. And uh, it was subscribe or I'll put BMX bars on the Redwood. But if I'm honest, uh, that threat was less a threat and more of a foreshadow. Uh, me being very, very close, good friends with the folks over at Poseidon, specifically Lewis. Uh, when I was saying that I wanted to try one of the, the flat bar redwoods, I told him, I said, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do tricks with it. Like, I wanna try and bar spin it. To which he replied, as you should. Yeah, I don't see why, like, totally makes sense to wanna do that with a gravel bike, a flat bar gravel bike. So that is, the beginnings of this video. Like that is what we're gonna start and get ready to do. I am admittedly pumped about the follow through on that. This is also a really good opportunity to actually perform the uh, the proper assembly process that I should do when a bike shows up, but I get too excited and I usually just throw the front wheel and handlebars on and start riding it. So I can add grease to the bearings and whatnot that don't actually have it right now. I'm also gonna play with the uh, the Insta360 Go 2. Opportunity to try and get some uh, POV clips. There's a, actually a pretty good chance that I probably did grease the headset quite well when we put the, uh, the mountain bike fork on this thing and rode it as a mountain bike. But what's the fun of not keeping yourself guessing? See, this bar end comes out really easy because it's still intact. This one I lost when I uh, was vlogging and we crashed with one hand on the bars. It happens. All right, there you go. All remnants of a front brake is off. Those of you who are really paying attention will notice a huge difference in gap between the front and the rear. Now, Harrison, when he said, I found you a stem, you don't have to pay for it, don't worry about it. Uh, these, these are a little damaged. I'll run the tap through it. Be really careful when you put them together. That way it doesn't rip the threads out. Uh, I did not be careful and I did rip the threads out. So I'm running this, uh, this stem with only front clampage. I get the sense that anyone aware of the pledge to give this bike away if we get to 50,000 subscribers by December 31st of this year is kind of wondering, um, some of this feels like downgrades for someone who might win this bike, but let's be honest, we're not gonna get there, so don't worry about it. But if we ever did, if we do get to 50,000 subscribers by December 31st, I will revert, if it's not already reverted, I'll revert it to a state that uh, you know, maybe someone would prefer to ride bars. Okay, let's just, this is staying, obviously. We want the rear brake, but this is all I want on for like cockpit kind of controls is just the rear brake and that's it. So this, this is gonna get disconnected and taken off. Definitely feel like I'm taking a very capable bike and reverting it to a particularly uncapable state, but for the dream of bar spinning it, I think it's all worth it. Good parts. These are all really good parts. Doesn't make any sense to take them off at all. But here we are. Spin dat. It's the spin dat channel. That's what we do. Take good bikes. Make them slightly less good bikes. All right, swapping to a road derailleur for this, uh, this little project. I'll explain why in a second.
well, this is, I guess you could say the final product. This is it completed. I've played around with it like a little bit and it's become clearly evident that it's not going to be a bike that I'm gonna be able to take off a jump and bar spin. The front tire wheel will actually hit the crank if it's uh, parallel with the ground, which is exactly how I uh, bar spin off of jumps but it will do manual bar spins. These are the risks you take when you tinker. Um, this, this is bad. This is not holding the bar in place. The dingle speed setup. If you've never heard of a dingle speed setup, what you do is this. You have to have a road derailleur that has a barrel adjuster here. You put the solder in first, that would be in the shifter in here, route it through, clamp it down, and then you just use the barrel adjuster as your shifter. See the way that the, the derailleur is actually moving? Actually, allow me to demonstrate exactly how that works a little bit better in here because it is cooler than how I'm explaining it out there. So, chain, two cogs, and a derailleur. The derailleur is holding chain tension and also acts the same way it would with a cable actuated shifter on it, just the shifter is the barrel adjuster. So, as you're pedaling and you loosen tension, eventually it'll drop down a gear. And then the opposite is true if you tighten. Tighten this, it'll shift a gear again. There you go. Obviously it's insanely manually done, um, but it kind of cleans up the cockpit, to which I understand will be met with, why not run a derailleur with a shifter and 10 gears, but the whole reason that you do is to not have a shifter up here. You get it. Admittedly, I was really hoping for some good opportunity to try and do like a hop bar span or like a, a bar spin off of a jump, but uh, I don't think I don't think it's gonna happen, especially not today because there's much snow on the ground. But I do feel I owe you at least like some manual bear spins. I don't know. It's funny the difference between a manual bar spin, like a, a pop up bar spin, and going off a jump is pretty. It's it's not to be taken lightly. Somehow I managed to get my feet vertical and out of the way when doing them like that. I don't know what that's about, but I can't think of that when I'm in the air. <laughs> I don't know, maybe. Just need to really think about it. So yeah, the bars, admittedly they do, they do move like crazy. But anyway, I've got these ramps. There's a reason I have these ramps, so I may as well use them. There is a clear, there's a clear path there. I'd like to go off of a jump with the uh, the BMX barred gravel bike. Whether I do tricks or not eh, remains to be seen, but the opportunity is here. I'm gonna take it. If I go off of it like this, I land in that big pile, there's no way I can get hurt. Move so much. This uh, this whole idea it fell apart pretty quickly. It it doesn't work. It doesn't work that good. It turns out maybe the redwood was like it was good the way it was. I guess end of the day, mission accomplished. It did get it did get a a bar spin. It did get BMX bars on it, but uh, it's it's not gonna stay this way. There's no way. It just it doesn't, it doesn't even look good. I think next video we put the dingle speed set up to the test, but not with those bars on. Uh, probably with the regular flat bars. Uh, anyway, I guess we'll just, just end it on a, just end it on that, I guess. I hate when they end this way.